come on. I wasn't snoring. <laughs> Tell that to the couple in the next row that wanted to strangle you. Yeah. Do you have money for the sitter? Yeah, I went to the bank after work. Hi, Mr. Turner. Hi, Mrs. Turner. Susie, did Danny give you any trouble? Actually, I was trying to call you guys. Well, I had my phone off at the movie. Everything okay? Um... What happened to that chair? It's my fault. We just had pizza. Danny asked if we could play superheroes and if he could be the Hulk. I said, okay. Next thing I know, he had the chair up over his head and he was smashing it on the floor. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. But the Hulk and I are definitely having a talk tomorrow. Or right now. Is Danny up in his room? Actually, he's in jail. Jail? Well, technically, Juvie, I'm really sorry. What happened? Uh, do I have to go over it again? I've gone over it like so many times already with the police. The police? Susie, what happened? Well, it was just after he broke the chair and after he killed the dog. Killed the dog? Buster's dead? No, no, Buster's fine. He killed the neighbor's dog. Rusty's dead? Was that his name? I couldn't bear to look at the collar. There was so much blood everywhere. Why would Danny kill a dog? He had no choice, Mrs. Turner. The dog attacked him. Rusty attacked him? Yes, I was standing two feet away. Danny shot his owner and the dog just attacked him. Danny shot Mr. Fenderman? Was that his name? There was so much blood everywhere. How did Danny get the gun? It was the craziest thing. I turn my back for like five seconds and he just swipes it out of my holster. Like, no impulse control. Why do you have a gun? Are you kidding? That kid is dangerous. Look what he did to Mr. Fenderman. Because he had a gun! Okay, blame the gun, why don't you? Your kid kills two people and a dog in cold blood and suddenly it's the weapons fall? Two people? Oh, I didn't say two. Yeah, he killed the dog, that Fenderman guy, and Edie Brickell. Paul Simon's wife? Are they still married? Honestly, I never thought they would last that long. He's like 30 years older than her. It's kind of creepy. What was Edie Brickell doing with Mr. Fenderman? Come on, is that really our business? This is ridiculous. I'm calling the police. I want to talk to my son. He's not your son, Mr. Turner. He's not. Bill. We've all been there. Tragedy strikes and only then do you blurt out the truth about your son's paternity. I'm Rick Mundy with the Ed Council. And listen to me. Never blurt out the truth about your son's paternity. And remember, ignorance is like the moment that the child he thinks is his was conceived. Bliss. And the truth, like a great lover, often sucks. You're welcome. Hey gang, David here, and if you want to be one of the cool kids, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be one of the rebels who hate the cool kids, hit that subscribe button. Don't overthink it. See you soon.